it's so beautiful outside. Oh my goodness, I love the snow. Pretty.
So I was gonna do my hair for you guys, but I just, it's winter, it blizzard, blizzarded, is that a word? Out <laughs> all night last night, and I, uh, I'm definitely gonna wear a hat because we're gonna run some errands today, but I had to show you the shirt I'm wearing. I was feeling really festive. And this is the shirt that I got at Marshalls, if you guys watched that other vlog where I went and bought my uh, winter jacket. So I got another one I'm gonna be wearing. This one actually is a little bit itchy though, so I think I might have to put an undershirt on. But it's so sparkly and I'm just like, I'm just gonna go all sparkle. I'm probably even going to wear some sparkle boots today because I feel festive and December and January, mostly December, is when I wear the most glitter. So let's just do it. Nobody's probably gonna see me except for my boots because when we go to the store, technically I normally just leave my coat on because I'm still cold. So should I match my sparkle boots to my shirt and wear the gold ones because there's some gold on my shirt? Or should I match them to my eyes because I feel like my eyes are a little more of this pewter color glitter? What do you guys think? What do you think? Which boots should I wear? Here's my shirt. Here's my eyes. Here's one boot. <laughs> and the other boot. I don't know guys. I like them both. <laughs> I think I might have to go with the gold bow because it just matches my shirt a little better. My eyes, I don't know. They're kind of like a mixed color of glitter, so maybe they are even kind of more goldish. I don't know, my phone's about to die, so I can't really tell what color anything is because it's dark, so. Okay, let's just go with the gold. So we made so many cookies yesterday. We are going to deliver a little bit to some of our neighbors. There's no way we're gonna be able to eat all of these cookies. It's out really good though. If you guys like banana bread, they are very similar to banana bread. They're very soft and puffy. And I would definitely put more chocolate chips in them than we did, but we just didn't have enough. And we put little mini M&Ms in it too, but those kind of just disappeared into the cookie. So I would definitely do like either big M&Ms or just do like all chocolate chips. And other than that, they're pretty good. They're very like soft and no, I feel like they can kind of dry out easily just like banana bread can when you're baking it because they're so like bready, but they're pretty good. They taste very, very banana-y. <laughs> Is there a mosquito in the winter during the blizzard? It's Saturday and I decided I'm going to sit down on the couch before we leave to do our errands and I'm going to read a magazine. Christmas! Absolutely love this idea to use like a really pretty spoon and give these like for part of a gift or like on top of a gift. Could crochet I would make these for everyone that is so adorable I need to learn that craft and how cute of an advent calendar idea is this we did the advent calendar one year just the DIY package one and it was really fun and but it was kind of time-consuming and expensive but this is adorable I love the look of these velvet pieces of ribbon hanging off the stocking it looks so pretty look at this glitter garland oh my goodness so pretty. Are you hunting? There's a mouse under the snow. Yeah.
if you guys are looking for a very amazing eye makeup remover both of these are really really good i used to use this avon one for years and then i found the neutrogena one for like six bucks and i love this one i think even more but they're both like a lotion you just rub it into your eye makeup and it just comes right off but I am about out of this Neutrogena one and I've only been able to find it on Amazon which is a super big bummer because now when I just went to go buy more it was like $20 for one of these tiny little bottles so I don't know what the deal is but I went back to the Avon one because I'm not about to pay $20 for this tiny thing of makeup remover and it's not even like an expensive brand name so but they are both really good if you can find them for a good deal. I just put about that much on my finger. Well, I accidentally thought I was recording, but I wasn't. But this is what it looks like <laughs> after washing one eye off. It's super, super easy to get off. And um, I will show you how I do it on the other eye now. Okay, so I literally just gently coat my eyelashes on top and bottom with the lotion. I also take it a little bit up onto my eyebrow. Not that I have a lot of like pigment up there or anything, but I'll slowly just massage it in because the hardest thing to get off is the mascara and the um, liquid eyeliner, of course. And sometimes the liquid eyeliner is even a little bit stubborn. See, it's almost all the way off, but if I'm really, really gentle, I can kind of scrape away the um the liquid eyeliner with my fingernail because it's just kind of sitting on top and it's like mostly lotion i'm scraping away but very very gentle with my eye skin and this lotion makes it easy to like i'm not like pulling at my skin or anything because it's just very silky and also this mascara if you guys haven't used this before it is the weird that's um the one that was double sided with the white mascara and then the black that one makes it so weird when you wash it off because it comes off in like these big strings i added more on top of a different kind of mascara which is what's making all of this and the liquid eyeliner but if you just use the white and black mascara there you'll just get like strings of black so if you're in the shower and you're like seeing these little black strings everywhere it's from that mascara so okay now that i look like a panda I'm gonna go wash this off and then wash the rest of my face with a washcloth because I'm old school and that's just my favorite way to exfoliate my face. This is my favorite face wash right now. I was normally or for many years just using the regular Cetaphil one. I've also tried like a million different other brands because I had the FabFitFun box and the Ipsy subscription so I was able to try tons of different face washes and I did find two I really really loved that were a higher end. I just ended up like not wanting to repurchase it because it's so expensive and I just love this one. Ever since I've been using it, I don't know, I'm still getting acne which sucks. I have like hormonal acne and cystic acne and I also get little tiny pimples sometimes too but I feel like this is actually making a big difference and I haven't got any dry skin from this and I'm just loving it so highly recommend. So I only use like this tiny amount. Whoops my bad. Okay apparently I can't hold the um, camera while I'm washing my face so. <laughs> Next thing I use is a toner and I really love this toner. I used to also use an Avon toner all the time for years and I've switched over to this one and I've used this for years too so Neutrogena is pretty awesome you guys and I think this one is under seven dollars as well or right around seven dollars at least um, I buy it at Walmart but you can find this one in lots of stores so I feel like this just really uh, gets the rest of anything that my facial cleaner miss it doesn't um nothing gets rid of my glitter though so if you see some glitters left behind i'm like totally fine with that <laughs> i don't even care so now i'm just waiting for this to dry and then i'm going to put on my face lotion this is probably the least exciting face lotion ever it's the walmart brand compared to cetaphil but i've used a cetaphil one too and i really don't see any much of a difference this does make my face look kind of shiny or dewy which i actually love because i feel like it's kind of like a youthful look i don't like my face to be super matte and i feel like it 
like hides the wrinkles a little better when my face looks dewy. So I love this stuff. Definitely recommend it. Very cheap too. This is the last thing that I use. I just put this kind of like on my cheekbones underneath my eyes. I just use a very small amount, like this is how much I put under my eyes, and then I do a little bit more, and this is for my neck. I don't think I put this like on my chest or like my nose or forehead or anything, because I feel like something this thick might like, you know, clog your pores and give you more pimples, but under my eyes it works really good, and I don't get pimples on my neck, so it's perfect for that. I wake up in the morning and my face looks dewy and healthy and hydrated and then I'm also able to just like put my makeup on the next day like right over this and like I don't have any problems with it like balling up or anything it's very shiny so you guys well I don't use this every single night but or day but I will use this like at any time I feel like my lips are kind of dry and this stuff is so amazing I love this lip exfoliator it's the best one I've ever tried a little twist up just like a chapstick and then I just kind of like wipe the sandy stuff off I've left it on before like it's a little annoying feeling because it is like supposed to exfoliate your, like, your lips but after you wipe it off your lips feel so smooth and so moisturized. Sometimes I even put this on because I love the way that minty chapstick feels and this is like a natural way to plump up your lips. Put like a little drop on my finger. Just make sure that you wash your hand afterwards so you don't rub it in your eyes. Thanks for getting unready with me. Enjoyed today's vlog. I am going to go read the rest of that magazine and then I'm going to go to bed. Good night guys! <laughs>